welcome. We bring in our uh, NFL insider, Doug Walters. Doug, joining us for the first time. Good morning, Doug. How are you doing? Good morning, Jeff. I'm doing well. How are you? All right. Well, you you watched the Eagles-Redskins last night uh, like a lot of us did. And and you got to say, first of all, unbeaten Redskins is a little weird. And winless Eagles. I don't think that anybody at the start of the season would have predicted that the Eagles would not win one of their first two games. They have not looked very good out there. Well, you know what? I mean, they, they played a clean game, surprisingly. Uh, they only had two penalties, no turnovers. McNabb passed for 240 yards, but the Redskins just did things better. Uh, and honestly, I'm not really surprised that Washington is 2-0 and at this point, considering what they did in 2005. So I'm not too surprised, but I'm not too worried for Eagles fans either. Only two games in, not too bad. All right, well, well, well wait, wait. You're, you're not worried? Then you must be the only one watching the Eagles. That, that Well, the Eagles fans, they're all worried. And I heard, uh, you know, th- halfway through the third quarter there, they're booing uh, Donovan McNabb. Uh, do they have a, I mean, realistically, um, they, they've got the Lions coming up this coming weekend, who, uh, by the way, weirdly are also <laughs> unbeaten. Um, you, you know, are, the, are they on the precipice of real problems in Philadelphia? And, and Donovan McNabb can't be on. Hundred percent. You know what? They they had really bad luck in week one. Week two, I really think they showed signs of promise. They bring in Reno Mahi. They've got uh, uh, another good kick returner there. Um, you know, I think they they cleared up the problems they were having on special teams. And honestly, the no turnovers and the few penalties. I'm surprised they lost the game to Washington. So, and I think Detroit that should be no problem for them. Uh, I think the Lions are pretenders. This is a team that's been terrible for so long. So. <laughs> Uh, All right. I think the Eagles have to be looking forward to things. All right, let's jump off of uh, the Eagles uh, Redskins uh, and and let's talk about some of the games, uh, some of the other teams out there. You know, one team that I th- I've been really impressed with, uh, actually two teams, Cowboys and uh, the Packers. Both have been uh, a little bit in my mind, a little bit of surprise. More the Packers than the Cowboys, but the Cowboys have looked very good. Their offense has looked great behind Tony Romo. Yeah, fantastic stuff. And I think a lot of people crowned, you know, teams like New Orleans and Chicago at the beginning of the year. Right. As the NFC frontrunners, I think a lot of people are going to be looking at the Dallases and the Green Bays, you know, as those teams that are kind of stepping up into the role of frontrunner and uh, looking for long playoff runs out of them. Uh, yeah, like you said, Romo running a fantastic offense there. Terrell Owens working the ball. Julius Jones, Marion Barber. It's all coming together for him this year, so. I see good things for them. And Brett Favre is, is being efficient, and with their defense, they could go a long way in that division. Yeah, that, that dingy is just not giving things up. And uh, like I said, I think Detroit really going to show their true colors closer to the middle of the year. Green Bay is going to squash them. Chicago's falling apart. Minnesota's the only other team I can see competing with Green Bay for the NFC North crown. All right, let's talk about some of the featured games this coming weekend. Uh, any game that you're you're looking at and going, wow, that's going to be a pretty good game? Yeah, you know, I've got two games, one in the AFC and one in the NFC. Uh, the AFC game, I, I see that Indianapolis at Houston, two 2-0 two teams mm. out of the AFC South. Uh, a lot of people are wondering if Houston is really going to be a contender with Matt Schaub and Amon Green. Uh, that's going to be a good test uh, at home against the reigning champs. And uh, also Dallas, like you said, at Chicago. This is a chance for the Cowboys to make a statement and say, look, we're the top of the NFC. We're the team to beat. Come and get us. Another game that uh, interests me a little bit is that uh, Steelers uh, 49ers game. Uh, that, that's a game that probably at the beginning of the season, when we were looking at the schedule, and I, you know, not a big deal, but both those teams coming in playing pretty good football. Yeah, Alex Smith is doing a great job out there on the West Coast. Uh, but uh, again, it's another team like Detroit. They've had some trouble the last couple of years. They clicked again last year, but I'm really not buying into it. I think the Steelers are going to walk away with that one. All right, Doug Walters, our NFL insider. What's your website? Well, I'll tell you what, it's www.thescienceofwinning.net. We've got uh, further uh, in-depth game analysis. We've got our proprietary method, the Walters Trend Method uh, for sports forecasting. We do pro and college football, Major League Baseball. So check it out. All right, uh, Doug, we'll talk to you next Tuesday. All right, we'll see you. All right, uh, Doug Walters, our NFL insider, will join us every Tuesday at around 825. WSBA News Time is 828. Traffic and weather together on the 8s next. Want to take this job and shove it? 